Hello and welcome along and welcome back to This Is Island. Uh, today we are going to be doing some more work getting our cow yard ready. Uh, now in order to do that we're going to need to start getting some straw and some hay up there. So I've come around here in the landy because we're going to open up. And we're going to need a tractor. I think we might use the class for this job. So let's start up our uh, atlas and go and hook this up to the trailer and we're going to use the flatbed trailer that we've got in the other shed. We're going to stack it high with bales, it'll actually go fairly high because it's a nice low trailer and therefore uh, it's pretty stable most of the time. Uh, so we can stack that up with... Uh, with bales and take that over to the other yard and we'll have to get the other tractor sorry the um telehandler to follow it down the road i think but this is our this is our bale trailer which as you can see if we can get around that there we go is uh quite low for a trailer or oh, for a bale trailer which is really good that should keep it quite stable with any luck uh, even though it's uh, not a dolly trailer. Because that's the other thing that, that tends to be fairly stable. When you've got a trailer like that. Um, that's a dolly. That tends to, to make for a fairly stable trailer. Now we do have a few bits and pieces in the way. Uh, let's see if I can turn the lights on enough to show that. Uh, we'll, we will go into that shed in a minute. But yeah, there's a few bits of kit in the way, so we'll have to uh, to move those. Um, and our best way to do that is with this little tractor over here. Uh, now this is also going up to the cow yard, based on what we doing like we were doing last time, uh, because uh, we need that bale shredder up there. As I said, we don't actually need uh, the. Um, uh, we don't need this all up there right uh, completely yet. Um, it's simply because we want to buy the cows in a couple of days. So this is all about preparation. That is interesting. This pickup uh, in the Anderson DLC, this goes on the top hitch as well. I do not understand why so much of this Anderson DLC goes on the top hitch it i mean it's a big piece of kit for use with this tractor and i don't think you'd ever use this with this tractor but that is still extraordinary that this is a top hitch piece of equipment that is just odd that is just so very odd right so that's out the way now hopefully i'm not sure that actually gives us enough space to maneuver I'm going to move this further out of the way. Oh, we need to go further back. There we go. Let's move that in front of our other shed over here. Where we have our round bales. There we go. And drop. So we also have uh, a few bags of uh, seeds in here by those things. Yes, yeah, seeds and some fertilizer. Uh, but these are what we're looking to move. We have a lot of bales in here. So let's uh, straighten this up. And once we've got this straightened up, what we can do is go and get our telehandler. And start stacking them up. Now, we might be able to go four or possibly five high on here, which would be absolutely brilliant. Um, but, as I said, I want to be careful. I want to make sure we stay stable. I don't want to overload the wheels, of course, as well. So, let's give this a go. Be a nice low center of gravity on this piece of kit. And it's so so dark in the mornings in the winter I and mean, this is uh, this is just slightly ridiculous there we go right so if we're gonna go four high 
I can either stack two at a time. I don't. I don't really like stacking four at a time. We might have to drop this trailer as well, because the downside is it is at a slight angle as it stands at the moment. Now we are just about right across that, so. Ah, it's not too bad. Now a stack of three is going to be interesting. Especially if I try and get it at the wrong height like that. There we go. Way. Now this is putting a lot of pressure on the uh, front pressure on the tractor at the moment. So in real life, there'd be an issue here where the tractor would just lift, it's likely to lift its front wheels off the ground. Um, I am not worrying about that too much in this instance because uh, I'm trying to get the, the bales to as far forward as I can uh, which is very different in the game compared to uh, real life you should you'd be able to to judge this a little bit better there we go so I'm just straightening up this pile of bales best we can As it was a little bit wobbly to start off with and then just one more yeah not a big adjustment that needs doing but enough of one there we go so there are our first four bales on. So we can go four bales high on this trailer. Uh, which is what we're going to do. It would be that our stacks now are five bales high. But not much I can do about that. We will uh, we'll get most of... Uh, I think we'll get most of this done in two goes as a result. Now that is pulling a bale off the pile behind it, I think. Oh, in fact, that has sent the entire pile over. So we need to be careful of that kind of thing. And I think that's a result of the bale stacker that we were using. Because those are not those are not complete stacks, interestingly. I am guessing they both come off separate fields, maybe. Because that is just... Yeah. All right. So there we go. There are our first bales. Now I think the top ones on that. Look at oh yeah, wow, that is incredibly wonky, isn't it? There we go. And by return, it's made the top one on the other side wonky as well. Which is very difficult for us to get to. So, I'm going to get the rest of this trailer loaded up. Um, <laughs> now that you can see what I'm uh, oh, trying to do. And, uh, and we'll head over to the cow field. Or the cow yard. And, uh, and yeah, and get them unloaded the other side. So, we're about... Two thirds of the way. I oh, sorry, actually, with these two, we're three quarters of the way through stacking these. Um, I'm intrigued by how these bale stacks are. We didn't stack when the when these bales went into the shed. We didn't stack them uh, ourselves. They went in on the bale stacker. Uh, they seem to be sort of all over the place. Uh, it's it's quite amazing. That uh, 
the, the either they moved as soon as we pulled the bale stacker out, or or they just shifted with the bale stacker uh, stacks. But that is you; those have twisted amazingly. So uh, yeah, I don't know what's happened there. Also, I find interesting is the fact that this um, this trailer would take four of these stacks, uh, which we're actually in a little bit of a problem point with. We're going to have to move those bags out of the way. But I, that's this trailer holds an awful lot of bales, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm now worried. I have to be honest. I'm now worried for how stable this is going to be. But we will find out in a moment. Uh, what I need to get for now is hooked up to this. Uh, which is our bag carry. Need to jump out and jump back in again. Now this should connect up to this. Except we are nowhere near it. Ah, oh, there we go. There we are. So we should be able to connect uh, this up to this and we can move these bags out of the way as a result. Like so. And I'm going to move these into this shed over here because this shed over here is where I'm looking to store all my bags and everything like that going forward. We have a few bits and pieces in here already. I just drop it down. And we should be able to disconnect it like that. Yeah, I do like this uh, this bag loader. It works really, really well. This is actually the only map I'm using it on at the moment. Um, because uh, other than on a Lone Oak farm, uh, which I'm doing over on Twitch. Go check us out on twitch.tv forward slash virtual farmer. Um, we are... Uh, this is, yeah, this is the only map we have a telehandler on. It's... Uh, not something we tend to use in many places. Although I am enjoying using the telehandler. It's... Uh, it's a, a better and better thing. And I think we're going to have to try out at least somewhere the Class Scorpion at some point. Uh, when the, that comes out with the DLC. Maybe we will make enough money on the new Start From Scratch series when that starts to, uh, to do that. There we go. And up with this. There we are. Right, so that has got these out of the way. What we want to do now is uh, is get in and off those slightly wobbly... I'm going to put this beside this because this is fertilizer. Uh, we want to get rid of those slightly wobbly uh, bales uh, that seem to have twisted and turned and gone all different directions. There we are. That's off. So, uh, yeah, let's drop the, our bag lift off again. And then we're in a position where we can just get. All right. So, drop that off. Uh, grab our bale spike again. And we can get the last eight bales that we need, which is an entire single stack that we have in there, I think. Oh, manual attach does some funny things sometimes. You have to get out, walk near it, and then go in to attach things like this. So here we can see, yeah, this is a wobbly, wobbly stack. So I am taking bales two at a time at the moment because that seems to be the most stable way to do it. Hopefully this will stay stable. That is too low. But yeah, you can see the bale stacks are not liking having you come anywhere near them with a piece of equipment. 
I don't think the bale stackers do a, a particularly great job of, of doing stable bale stacks. And as a result, I tend to be uh, I tend to like the ones that do the uh, the ones from the Anderson DLC that that do the low level ones that you can then restack because you end up with actually being able to to restack. Right, we have to take this at this level here. Ignore that single bale on the top. Or well, hopefully, yeah, that single bale is going to fall down, and we can use that with the one from the other stack. That will be a better thing. So bring that round. Now I'm only going to take one trailer full today. Ah, oh, that was close. Uh, I'm only going to take one trailer full today. We uh, we don't need more than that certainly initially. There we go. We're gonna sort this stack against the back wall, I think. If we can. Yeah, there we go. That does that. We'll take the top one, put that back on. I think we just made a pile of straw. Right, there we go. I actually enjoy working with the Heston bales more, I think. There's there's more to them and they're less wobbly and you can feel the weight on them a bit more. These feel a little bit flimsy uh, uh, as a result now. And uh, and and like they like, like they're gonna fly all over the place a bit more. And I know the Heston Balers have just got an update as well. Get that on that. One thing I've done is left the uh, Ford running this whole time. There we go. Not so worried about leaving our class running, uh, but the Ford running is, uh, yeah, not what we want. So we've basically got to un uh, unstack these at the far, far end. Um, we, we then also are going to need some hay bales. And I think what we're going to do come springtime is create a load more hay before we do silage. Uh, we normally do the hay in the summer when it's uh, it's nice and dry. And, uh, and, and uh, well, I don't know at the moment. We've got enough hay to get us through to the summer. We go full hay production at that point. Uh, we uh, we'll get a a very large amount. I mean, we've we've hardly used most of the hay uh, that we've got for our sheep and uh, horses at the moment. But we do want to uh, make sure that we have enough for the cows as well as the sheep. Is there another? There's one at the end there. There's one at the end there. We might as well put all the straps on here. Make it as stable as possible. There we go. That is our trailer full. So I now want to get this to follow our class tractor. So I'm going to put it there. It's got a good distance on it. Oh. And we are off. I think we might have to turn the lights off. That's all right. We have enough light now. So let's get this up to our cow yard. That is actually really stable. And we were sliding around on the snow a little bit. But in general, that's a really stable trailer of bales. Um, I like this trailer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we may. It may be wise for us to um, to clear the snow in the yard. I think we may come back here with the uh, 
telehandler and just uh, scrape the yard because that is not great. But stable bales and we are nice and stable heading towards the cow yard now. So uh, I will see you down there. So here is our cattle yard, so I'm going to bring this into here. Now our, uh, yeah, now this is the thing, our cattle yard is separated over two areas. I've had to, uh, the, the follow me stopped on this. Um, we will have to, I think our best bet is probably to put uh, these in here. Can we follow this trail? There we go. And we've got a shed through here. Yeah, you see, we've got plenty of space to store things like bales. Uh, bales certainly will go in these sheds quite nicely. So I think this is where we want to put our bales. Uh, it does mean there's a certain amount of disconnect between where our bales are and where our silage is. Uh, but that's not a massive problem. Um, we just need to make sure that we uh, we bring silage over here. And in fact, actually, it's probably worth us storing the the silage in these uh, in these sheds uh, if we can. So um, yeah, I am gonna pull this round to allow us easy access to the bales. Uh, we'll stop our follow me, and now. We can just unclip these one section at a time and start getting them unloaded. And we will unload these, I think. Um, hmm. That's a good question. I need the barn actually is good, I think. So we might as well go with the closest. Let's open that up. Now, I can take them off here at four at a time. Let's see... For a speed of this, how well that does. I ain't gonna, I don't think I'm gonna stack them any higher. No, that's that's really unstable. So we will take them two at a time, and uh, and that is whoa uh, should be a lot more stable. Is not. Um, we're uh, we'll get these into the shed like this. I know it's, it's a really dark day here on Mrs. Island. Such a dark day. Uh, and this is definitely winter work. This is definitely... Uh, there's nothing else for us to do on the farm at the moment. Uh, except for possibly ride horses. Uh, I would like... There's a piece of equipment I would like to get uh, at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that because, uh, yeah, we are going to grab some new equipment. But yeah, let's uh, let's stack these bales against this wall here. For our silage uh, across on the other on the other yard that should all be ready soon, and it's gonna be uh, yeah. I'm gonna not turn before I start, or I gotta turn this way and then this way. There we go. Um, yeah, we're going to have to to store equipment down this end as well, I think. I, I How the cow farm is going to work at the moment, I don't know. There's, uh, I think what we're going to end up doing is all of our silage equipment and things like that. We're probably going to store at the yard down the other end. We're then going to store uh, anything to do with uh, actually using the cows down this end. I'm thinking of putting in a second silage clamp in so that we can uh, rotate them. Uh, we do have the space. Uh, and uh, and doing that. So basically making the other yard a silage yard. While uh, this yard very much is our cow yard. Oh, we can go six high actually. 
So let's do that. Plenty of space we've got in here. So, uh, yeah, how this is divided up is going to be something that's going to develop over the next few episodes as we get the dairy cows. Um, we, are, we are hoping, I am hoping that I can get milk production started as quickly as possible. Uh, we shall see. Uh, everything I've, uh, I've seen and read suggests that it will take a while. Um, we definitely want to get mixed ration to our cows. We definitely want to get a good mix to our cows. Uh, so uh, that's another reason why I want to do uh, a load of grass work in the spring. Uh, get the cows fed with some grass uh, as well as hay and uh, silage and mixed ration. Uh, because if you have all of them, if you have a full set going, uh, then you're good. Um, we're also going to be doing uh, manure on here, not slurry, because that will improve the health of our cows as well. So it's all on here. It's all about getting the cows to the maximum production we can in the shortest period of time. So that's that is going to be our aim with the cows on here. There we go. This is pretty quick to get this unloaded. I find I've always found that actually loading the trailer takes more time and is more uh, is more difficult than getting it unloaded. Uh, and I think it's mainly because you need to be a little bit more precise when loading the trailer. Of course, if you talk and unload the trailer, you end up knocking bales off. But that's okay. Again, we can quickly stack these back, load them up, and away we go. Perfect. Probably got enough to stick to the stacking rules now. So the stacking rules I've got, and these are these again. This is something I uh, I learnt on Lone Oak, and uh, and implemented on there, is that I never go more than two bales above the previous row. So you can see on this row here that we've done at the moment, we've got two bales. So we start on the next row in front. and stack there now we can put two bales on the two above and this just actually creates far more stable stacks uh, and I'm slightly annoyed with myself with the amount of time that uh, these bales are going to be stacked here that I didn't implement those because I should have And it means we actually end up with squarer stacks as well because we can push stuff. We can push bales against them, uh, against each other. Two. And they, they all have each other for support. Is it like that? That is how I should be stacking. Right, no more on here. So one more load off the back here. So we have, back at the other yard, uh, we definitely have one stack, two stacks, three, uh, yeah, we, have, we definitely have three quarters of a trailer to bring across. Right, and then we'll get this down here. much more stable stacking system um so yeah we've got a fair amount to still bring across uh most of uh, another trailer but that's all right we can do that at our leisure there we go and so we start on the next set of stacks now. Although, how many have we got left? We've got three. Okay, I am going to put this on top. Keep this fairly neat. Actually, let's put this on here. Give a little bit of uh, strength to when we put on the top of the next one. There we go.
Very nicely. Off the top there. And that is done. Oop, nope. So there is one other thing I want to do today. We need to... Uh, I did some investigation. If you guys remember last time when we were doing a lot of stuff with the animals. Uh, you may have seen uh, that. Uh, or you may have heard that I was uh, going to have a look at the horse helper and see if the horse helper had improved. Um, it appears that it has. Uh, now it's the global company mod horse helper that I'm particularly talking about. And we'll go and have a look at that in a moment. But it seems that it does now work with seasons. And we should make money with seasons. So I'm going to uh, activate that this time. We will see where it gets us next time. Oh, let me go on that. At all. Come on. There we are. Uh, and hopefully we'll start making a good amount of money with the horses. And if so, we can start buying horses again. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping that that's going to be the case. There we go. Our uh, bales are all unloaded. And it's only lunchtime. Uh, so there is plenty of time for me to go back and, uh, and get some more bales. We will also turn off the lights. Uh, but yeah. There is uh, a really good horse helper setup. I think we've got that. I think our class is on reverse. Yes. Oh, uh, no, it isn't. I wonder why that had an issue then. Let's pull this up behind and we can get this back to the yard. And, uh, and yeah, I can actually go and get the rest of these. Ah, that's why we have an offset. That is left over from our um, silage. Uh, so, yeah, we, uh, we'll sort the horse helper mod out. I will show that quickly. So, under the global company mod, which we need to access outside of a vehicle, um, you've got the settings item here. We'll turn on the horse helper mod. Somebody was asking me the other day how to activate placeable, uh, the extended placeable, or the place anywhere. That is under here as well. So, uh, that is also what shows the object info that we've got. So, when we walk up to a bale, it tells us how it is uh, we've got more tree activated more trees activated and cut bales activated cut bales I came uh, copper on that I, uh, I, I accidentally cut a bale once um, um, but yeah so uh, that's where you'll find all the global company settings uh, under control G when you're not in a uh, in a vehicle right let's get this back to the farm then and I can stack some more bales but I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.